In this video, I'll be showing you how to add floor finishes. Um, in particular, uh, whenever we've got tiled flooring, so for bathrooms, how to add that. And then um, in order to be able to actually do the tiled flooring, you've got to be uh, capable of adding materials to your Revit library. So I'll, I'll be also showing you how to do that. So if we go to our Revit uh, project, now um, say that we wanted to allocate tiled flooring to the bathroom and then use something different for the rest. Um, in order to do that, add an additional uh, flooring. So we've already set our concrete floor, uh, the one in gray as you can see. Um, add another floor on top of that. So go to uh, architecture and then click on architectural floor. Um, again, you can, this time let's, let's draw it out so that it starts at the corner and it extends all the way to the other corner of the building. Okay, so um, uh, click finish and it will tell you that it overlaps. Um, so in order to avoid that overlap, go to offset and say offset that by for now offset that by 300 and then using your tab key uh, select that floor so the one that we just created there wasn't an offset of 300 then we want to change that type of it so uh, click on duplicate and go generic 100 oh sorry not 100 but say a finish of maybe go 20 mil click ok and then go and edit change the thickness to 20 mil click on ok and now we've got our sort of finish layer inserted now we want to add tiles to this section only so in order to do that, I gotta split. Um, I gotta split my my finish my finish layer. And to do that, let me select the floor. So it's that one that I just added. And there's a there's a function under modify. Um, it's called split face. And what that does is that it allows you to. to split you know the face of the floor so make sure that once you hover over your floor it's the right one so it's generic 20 mil as you can see click on that and then let's uh, let's draw that split so we want it to start from the corner so from above to up until you know that section here so that's yeah so now We've, as you can see there's one section here and then there's the other the other four okay so the last step is to create the material that we're going to use for our tiles so to do that you go to manage click on materials and then I've already actually created this but if you wanted to uh, create the material all you've got to do is just right click duplicate and let me rename that as bath 400 by 400 maybe and then change the surface pattern to 400 so we've already got that 600 mil selected to um, in order to create a 400 by 400 duplicate the 600 I change that to 400 by 400 mil and change the associated line spacing so that should be 400 that should be 400 click on ok ok so now we've created our um, our material in order to apply it to this section go to um, under uh, under modify sorry go to this function here which is paint click on it and you know 
select whatever material you want so and then click on you know the uh, your bathroom so okay this was the incorrect selection uh, let me go back click on paint and then your tiles and make sure you select the area only that will just split so it's that as you can see the one in blue um, you actually selected or everything so we need to change you know the, the other other section uh, except for the bathroom to do that say I um, I wanted that to be sort of maybe I don't know timber flooring so let me see if I can find uh, the closest that I can get yeah timber is here so click on that and then and now you can see that we have assigned one sort of material finish for all the rooms except for the bathroom it has the tiles.